This is the choreography for John and Michael at the very beginning of Peter Pan. So, uh, we enter from stage right, which if you're standing on stage, looking at the audience, it's the right side. So the first person that comes on is John. John comes in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with a sword, ready to fight Michael, who comes running on. And Michael tries to hit John, and John moves. He tries to hit John again, and John moves. And then John runs and jumps up on the bed. And Michael runs over. So Michael's on the ground. John is on the bed. They sword fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. John jumps down and jumps onto the next bed. And Michael decides to come around and catch him when he jumps off the bed. So when John jumps off the second bed, Michael's like, ha ha, I'm ready for you. And that's when John says, hey, look, Wendy's coming. And so they all run and they hide behind Wendy's bed. There's a change in the music. Wendy comes on with the book. And then the music changes again. John and Michael jump up on Wendy's bed and startle her. They jump down and then they roll. They can do, you can do a somersault if, uh, if it doesn't hurt your neck. If you want to try a somersault, go for it. Otherwise, just roll and uh, hop back up ready, the like swords pointed at Wendy. Wendy is like, oh dear, the fearsome pirates have got me. So Wendy backs up, backs up. John and Michael are pointing at her with the swords, following her. She backs up to uh, one of their beds, which has another sword on it. And she's like, ha ha. And she fights both of them and all the way across the stage and they fall on the ground. Wendy lifts the sword up to the sky. I am victorious. She says, Michael, come with me. You're going to walk the plank. So they go to Wendy's bed. Michael jumps up on the bed. Wendy jumps up. She makes him walk the plank off the end of the bed. And there's a change in the music where Michael plugs his nose and jumps into the water. While they're doing that, John goes to the toy chest and puts on his crocodile outfit. So when Michael jumps into the water, he sees that, oh goodness, there's a crocodile. And so uh, Michael, the crocodile will chase Michael around the room two times. When, you're, when Michael's running, you have to act like you're swimming, you know, like pretend swimming. So you have to pretend like you're pretending to swim. Mm -hmm. It's very strange. And the crocodile's chasing you. So Wendy is up on the bed. Michael has jumped in the water. He sees the crocodile. Michael starts running around, big circle around the whole stage. Michael is swimming to try to get away from the crocodile, comes around. Wendy is like, take my hand, and can't quite get it. So he has to go around the room one more time, being chased by the crocodile. This time, Wendy gets his hand and helps him up onto the ship. Michael, when you get up on, on the bed, you say, why, thank you so much, Wendy. You go and feed the crocodile, and pushes Wendy off into the water. So Wendy is like, what? And here comes the crocodile. So Wendy has to go around and she's doing pakaroo, pakaroo, pakaroo to get away from the crocodile. And then hops up on the bed. The crocodile goes around one more time. Wendy takes the sword and tries to hit the crocodile dodges, tries to hit the crocodile dodges. Then she stabs the crocodile. And John, who's been stabbed, has a big dramatic death. Oh, and then dies. And then the music changes again, and Wendy and Michael are like, oh, very, very good. They give him a little applause. Beautiful, dramatic death scene. And John hops up and says, yes, I thought it was very much so. And Wendy says, okay, let's all, it's time for bed, guys. Put your stuff away. So Michael jumps off the bed and goes, gets in his bed. John puts the crocodile costume away and goes into his bed. Wendy gets her storybook and finishes here, ready for her solo, which is the very next thing. So let's hear all that with the music. Right at the beginning of the music, John comes running in and jumps center stage, ready for Michael to come in. John. Michael comes in. Try to hit. Try to hit. John runs away. They fight. John jumps onto the next bed. Michael runs around. Ha ha! John says, look, Wendy's coming. So they all run to hide. Wendy comes in with a book. The voice 
scare her. Jump down. Roll. And push Wendy backwards. She takes a sword. She fights John and Michael. Powerful. Michael, come with me. You're gonna walk the plank. John is putting on the crocodile costume. They both get on the bed. She says, walk the plank. And she pushes him to the edge. Plugs his nose. Jumps in. He sees the crocodile. He runs in a big circle, all the biggest circle he can make. Being chased by the crocodile, tries to grab Wendy, can't grab Wendy. Keeps swimming. Comes around to Wendy, gets on the bed. The crocodile keeps going around. Thank you, Wendy. Pushes Wendy, she falls in the water. She runs away from the crocodile. She gets back on the bed, the crocodile continues around. She gets the sword. Miss, miss, stab the crocodile. Oh, the crocodile has big, big dramatic death and die. We need Michael say very good job, very good job. Piazza, thank you. Wendy says time for bed. They put the stuff away. They go back to bed. Wendy is ready for her soap. So the music will help you tell the story. If you listen to the music a lot, you'll hear the moment when the crocodile dies, or you'll hear the moment when Michael plugs his nose and pretends like he's jumping off the plank. So listen to the music as much as you can and get it so that you have it memorized like a song. Then it's much easier to do your acting at a place in the music where the music is saying this is what's happening, all right? So you really want to know the music really, really well. So watch this as many times as you want. Get it so that you never have to think about the next thing that happens. You always know you could do this backwards or in your sleep or with no music at all, all right? That's the boys playing at the beginning of the ballet.